Hey, hey, my people! Greetings once again from the Great Start Studio, where all my dreams are coming true. It's true. And I have another drumstick illustration. I do it all the time with the students, and every time I just keep writing them down, I just have been doing this forever. I don't know if I just have drumsticks in my hands too much. <laughs> can you can you actually ever have drumsticks in your hands too much? Uh, I want to talk to you today about the poles of isolated playing, what you do at home, kind of in your practice lab, and then your live playing and these lessons that come together. If you uh, enjoy any of these, these topics that I have, just hit the like and subscribe. It really helps the algorithm as I'm trying to build my site. This thing here is a huge thing that kind of goes unnoticed. You, we kind of have these two separate lives. So I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible. In one end of your life is that you're practicing in the lab. You're like in the MIT basement somewhere. You're the only one in there. You're working out these crazy equations. You're working out all the problems that need to be worked out to the tiniest degree. And then over here, when you're playing, you just play. And these worlds are so desperately different that you want to try to get them to become one thing. Once again, the full spectrum person. When you're isolated, there are things that you get comfortable doing. You're on your drums. The sound is right. You, you don't have any critics around. You don't have any teachers. You don't have any audience. Uh, maybe your pets, you know, they love you. In the safety of this environment, the perfection of that lab, those lessons that you learn, you want to drag into your real playing. You have to remember, you have to proactively do this. You have to actually think, what are the things that I learned by controlling myself and walking through the details and how do I get them into my live playing? And when you're playing over here in your live playing setting, you actually think, oh, I want to remember those lessons and drag them over. If you don't drag them over, they'll always be in this isolated sort of world. It's a fake sort of research world. Also, the other side of it is, is that in your live playing world, when you get comfortable enough in your live playing world, you'll start kind of getting ahead of it and you'll start watching yourself in third person and going, hey, you know what? I have things that I have learned by playing live, certain sort of amounts of energy, the types of uh, ideas I have to, to buttress right up against each other. I'm going to drag those over here so that when I'm playing in my isolated lab world, that I'll remember to utilize those kinds of issues so that I can practice those and create this bridge. If you don't proactively create this bridge, it'll never happen. You'll have a completely separate life in your live playing and a completely separate life in your academic sort of learning research, and you will be frustrated. That will be the distance of your frustration. I just love explaining these things. If you want to deep dive into any of these ideas, I got a whole series. The link is down below. It's a highway. You just want to get on it and go through it. It's every problem from side to side. It's playing open hand. It's reading in two line. It's walking through all the meter types. It literally is the way I wish I was taught. So if you want to check that out, check that out. So from the Great Start Studio, best to us all and back at it.